Some people prefer to use the menu options as opposed to the toolbar. The important menu options that you want to pay attention to. Under insert, you have all the different features where you can insert an image, a link, an equation. A drawing means actually insert an already made Google drawing, special characters, footnotes, a horizontal line, page number, a page break, a header, a footer, a bookmark, a table of contents. So those are all different features you can insert into a Google Doc. Format is just your formatting choices that are on the toolbar and the menu form. Bold, italic, underline, strike through, superscript, subscript, the increasing of the indent, the alignment, your line spacing, a bullet and number list, if you want a clear formatting, or if you have a line, different lines. So those are the different formatting tools. Under tools is where you can find your spelling, your word count, you can translate a document. Now the translation isn't going to be like if you had a real translator, but it can help. And then you have table. So if you want to make a table, you can use insert a table and create a table. Now the table functioning in Google is not as advanced in Word. You cannot merge cells in Google. You can move cell borders around, up and down, make them bigger. You can click somewhere and go to table and insert a row, more rows, or insert another column, or even delete rows or delete columns. And now they even added in table properties where you can change the border color of the table and change the border size. You can change the cell background color. They used to not have these features, but now there's some more advanced features, but you still cannot merge. So if you're more comfortable with using menus, here's your menus, and you have the normal under file, you've got new, making a copy, we talked about revision history. So those are the basic menu choices.